So the sender is studying the complex carbohydrates of uh, cell uh, walls and cell membranes. So on bacteria and on mammalian cells. E. coli 0157, which occurs in cattle, uh, bacteria which produces a toxin. The toxin binds to the surface of the cell via the carbohydrates on the surface of our cells and then gets inside the cell and kills the cell. So the idea is if you could block the entry of the toxin into the cell, then you would be able to stop the effects of the toxin. Another uh, area of interest in the center is vaccines. So for example, Professor Todd Lowry is making uh, a vaccine against uh, tuberculosis. At the moment we're trying to develop novel vaccines for treating tuberculosis. And so that's, <clears throat> that's actually reasonably well along in terms of we're synthesizing molecules that could be used to generate vaccines. Um, we hope within the next six months or so we'll actually start testing these compounds as vaccines and something like that, if it were to be successful, would have a very important health implications. Computational chemistry is looking at the molecules on the computer. I don't actually make anything, I just look at them. And the reason you would do this is basically for drug discovery. If we don't know what the molecules look like, we can't make good drugs. So I'm one of the newer members of, of the center, and so uh, in my work in the last year, year and a half, has been um, hugely enhanced by being part of the center. Um, so we already have a number of collaborations with people within the center, I think three or four groups right now already. Um, and having access to the resources and the experience that those groups bring to those projects has been a huge asset. Um, and so we've already got uh, several of our projects are much further along than I could have hoped for before I came. I relocated here from uh, the States about five years ago now, <clears throat> just when the center had been funded, and in part because I, I thought there were a lot of opportunities and collaboration that it actually has been even better than I th would have thought initially. So it really um, enables uh, it really enables you to, to move things very quickly. You know, we have such a broad range of expertise, um, in particular with some of the newer people we've added, some, some novel approaches to solving problems. It's, uh, it's, just, it's quite exciting. The good thing about the center is that we, we have a wide spectrum of capabilities. And so each of these projects um, draws on the strengths of numerous members of the center. So uh, it, it's very exciting and it, all of this has been made possible by the fact that we've got individuals who want to work together, the funding is there to make it possible. Having the uh, funding of the, uh, the centers program would allow us to be able to hold on to them, pay them a professional level salary as a research associate and sort of build capability in that way, also have technicians. And so we've been able to do that quite successfully. So centers are where the rubber hits the road, really, right? It, they're going to provide a grouping of very powerful uh, forces. Industry that wants to develop its new wave of business. Researchers that want to develop that new way of knowledge. And the whole society and economy grouped around it that can see that they're going to benefit by doing those new things in the future. So the centers are about new knowledge, new companies, and the growth of technology clusters right here in Alberta.